All right, good. So it doesn't seem like we have any questions there. So let's go to GJ. So GJ this morning, let's take a look at the 15 minute. I liked this idea. Let me raise that. I liked this to come higher today. Let me uh, go like this. So now let's transition into GJ and GU. With this on GJ, the, the uh, bias is very clear. You can see market sentiment is very bullish today. It does have a little touch to overbought, but overall, we think this is going to move higher. The issue here, why I did not take a position on this today, is because it touched its average daily range of 78 pips. It hit ADR here at 245 this morning. So anything that we would get presenting after that, we know it might not have a lot of gas left in it today. Now, you can see when the 830 news comes out, because this is GJ, the JPY, is impacted heavily by U.S. news. That's why this caught a little volatility here. And now it's pulling back down into that average daily range. I think with this, the bias is very clear. The EMAs could have been a little bit better. You don't have a great A1 entry and you don't have a D1 entry. So there was just a bias of, I want to see this come higher today, but there has not been an entry signal. The only thing that you could say is a proper entry signal would actually be this on the 15 minute only, no D1, no D2. It's an A1, two candle formation. It's huge and it's through ADR. It's overbought already today. The EMAs could be better. So this is not an entry that I would take. It's got three or four knocks with it. You would need so much gas to get 2R, which is normally what I'm looking for. Look, you would need 72 pips out of this after it's already moved its 78 average. I'm just, that doesn't make sense. Mathematically, it's probably not going to do that today. So that's why I didn't take a position on this one. Just using the ADR indicator, you can avoid this. Now, overall, that bias here on GJ can carry and make you look for other GVP pairs to see if they're going to come higher. GU was another one. It's a swapping market sentiment line, but price is making higher lows and higher highs. So ideally off the 50, I'd like to buy that at that blue EMA. However, market sentiment isn't fully long biased, right? So that's one thing against this setup. The other problem with this is that there is no one minute divergence on this 50 EMA to set us up for the D1. So I'm really just looking for A1 entries. And what ends up happening even here is it tries to shift up. The RSI does not move into proper position. So there was no proper entry here. And now if you would have taken the position, it would have smacked you in the face because as you can see, the RSI never made it through the market sentiment line, which is what we need to fit one of the parameters of an A1 entry. So here, GU could have induced you with that long bias because of course we want to see it come higher, but there's no proper signal. We have a bias. We don't get a signal. We stay out. And I think James, I'm going to share something that James put in the uh, Black Shirt Club chat here. Check this out. He, uh, This is perfect. He said, most traders say they want to trade for a living, but then they trade like they have to retire next month. So that's a perfect saying to go along with the bias here on GU because and GJ because we wanted to buy both of them. We wanted to buy GU or GJ, which everyone presented a signal, but neither of them had good entry signals. If you would have taken it, you would have lost money and that puts you further away from, like James just said, trading for a living. You're trading like you've got to get, you know, a million dollars next month forcing these trades instead of just staying on edge. So now hopefully nobody lost money on GU or GJ. And now hopefully you guys can see we have bias, and then we look for a trigger signal. And if you don't have a trigger signal, that's where our courses come in. That's where the Black Friday sale is going to make a difference for you. If you want to learn how to trade systematically with a checklist for pre-trade, during the trade, and after the trade, ASFX is for you. I've got three systems that we're going to teach you how to get in, how to manage, how to get out, and what to do each step of the way. And I, I really feel like that's what most traders are missing, and that's why they struggle. Where here, I can teach you how to find the bias with GU and GJ and EU. And then I can also teach you then how to come in and find the entry signal. Today, they just didn't line up while I've been at the desk. The best entry so far was definitely this EU entry this morning. Totally clean inside the Asian range. Take it to the Asia low. That's the money that we're looking for. Any questions on EU, GJ, or GU?